Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Knowledge Chaos, where we will continue to expand our knowledge with the captivating insights into the world of technology and science. I am Divyansh Khari, your host, and today we embark on a journey into the fascinating realm of machine learning, exploring its connection with data science and uncovering those real-world applications. The reason why I decided to make this video is because we are using machine learning almost everywhere without even realizing it. From personalized recommendation on streaming platforms to even virtual assistant on our smartphones. Machine learning is integrated into many applications we use daily. So understanding machine learning also helps us to comprehend and appreciate the technology behind those innovations. Knowing about machine learning in today's age is very essential for staying informed and taking advantage of the career opportunities, making those informed decisions and being a responsible and engaged citizen in this world of data and technology. So fasten your seatbelts as we dive into machine learning and its relationship with the data science. Hey guys, just before we get started on this topic of machine learning, I just wanted to say that I know machine learning is a big topic and I won't be able to cover entire stuff in just 10 minutes, but I'll still try my best to cover the main gist of it. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Knowledge Chaos and spread this video among your friends, relatives or anyone you know. So now let's get started. What is machine learning? Machine learning is a dynamic field of artificial intelligence that empowers computers to learn from data and make those informed decisions. So let's begin by understanding the intricate relationship between machine learning and data science. To comprehend machine learning significance, we must grasp the fundamentals first. So machine learning is a subset of AI that allows systems to improve performance by learning from past experience without explicit programming. Unlike traditional programming, where explicit instructions are provided to accomplish those tasks, Machine learning models learn from patterns and examples in the data to make predictions and decisions. Machine learning and this data science go hand in hand. With data science being the foundation on which machine learning thrives, data science involves collecting, cleaning, and analyzing vast amount of data to extract meaningful insights and patterns. Machine learning uses these insights to build models that can predict outcomes or classify new data. Key components of machine learning include number one, training data. A labeled dataset used to train the model consisting of input features and their corresponding outputs. Model selection Choosing the appropriate algorithm or model architecture based on the problems, nature, and available data. Next, model training The process of fitting the model to the training data and learning the patterns. Next, we have model evaluation Assessing the model performance on a separate unseen dataset to ensure it generalizes quite well. Model deployment, implementing the trained model into production to make predictions on new data. Relationship between data science and machine learning. Number one, data preparation. Data science involves the entire process of data collection, cleaning, exploration, and feature engineering, which lays the foundation for successful machine learning. High quality data is crucial for training accurate and reliable machine learning models. Feature selection. Data scientists play a key role in selecting relevant features from the dataset that can significantly impact the performance of machine learning models. The choice of feature affects the model's ability to recognize patterns and make those accurate predictions. Number three, model building. Machine learning is the core component of data science when it comes to building predictive or classification models. Data scientists utilize various machine learning algorithms and techniques to develop models that suit the problem at hand. Model evaluation and iteration. After training the machine learning model, data scientists evaluate its performance using various metrics. If the model's performance is not satisfactory, data scientists may need to go back to the data preparation stage and iteratively improve the model until it meets those desired performance. Model deployment. Once a satisfactory model is trained, Data scientists work with engineers and developers to deploy the model into production systems where it can be used to make real-time prediction or decisions based on a new data. Data scientists and machine learning engineers collaborate to ensure that the data collected is of high quality and relevant to train the machine learning models effectively. There are two main primary types of machine learning, supervised and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, the algorithm is provided with input data for features and corresponding output labels during the training phase. The goal is to learn a mapping function from the input to the output so that the algorithm can make accurate predictions on new unseen data. 
In supervised learning, the model is trained on labeled data where the inputs and corresponding outputs are provided. It learns to make prediction based on this labeled data. There are various algorithms used in supervised learning, each suited for different types of tasks. For instance, regression. Regression algorithms are used when the output variable is continuous, such as predicting house prices, stock prices, or even temperature. Classification. Classification algorithms are used when the output variable is categorical data, and the goal is to assign input data points to specific classes or categories, such as email spam detection, image classification, or sentiment analysis. Evaluation metrics. To assess the performance of a supervised learning model, various evaluation metrics are used depending on the type of task. Regression, for instance, common evaluation metrics include mean square error, root mean square error, and R square, which is the coefficient of determination. And for instance, in classification, for binary classification metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score are commonly used. For multi class classification, Metrics like confusion matrix and classification report are also used. Next, we move to overfitting and underfitting. One of the challenges in supervised learning is finding the right balance between model complexity and generalization. Overfitting occurs when the model performs well on the training data but poorly on the new data, indicating that it has memorized the noise in the training data. Underfitting occurs when the model is too simple to capture the underlying patterns in the data. Techniques like cross-validation and regularization are used to combat overfitting and underfitting. Supervised learning has numerous practical applications in various domains, including image and speech recognition, recognizing objects, faces, and speech patterns. Number two, natural language processing, which includes text classification, sentiment analysis, and language translation. Number three, financial forecasting, predicting stock prices, market trends, and risk assessment. Number four, medical diagnosis, diagnosing disease based on medical images or patient data. Number five, recommender systems, providing personalized recommendation in e-commerce and content platforms. Number six, fraud detection, detecting fraudulent activities in financial transactions. Supervised learning is a powerful and widely used paradigm in machine learning that enables computers to learn complex data patterns and make accurate prediction based on the label training data. It has revolutionized various industries and continues to be a driving force in the advancement of AI applications. In contrast, unsupervised learning works with unlabeled data where the model identifies patterns and structures in the data without explicit guidance. Unlike supervised learning, there are no relabeled output labels in unsupervised learning. Instead, the algorithm attempts to identify inherent patterns or grouping in the data on its own. Key characteristics and components of unsupervised learning include unlabeled data. The unsupervised learning algorithm works with raw, unlabeled data where only input features are provided. The algorithm's task is to explore the data and identify meaningful patterns or relationships without any knowledge of the data's ground truth. Clustering Clustering is a common task in unsupervised learning where the algorithm groups similar data points together based on their feature similarities. Each group forms a cluster and the algorithm aims to maximize the similarity within clusters and minimize the similarity between different clusters. Dimensionality reduction. Another important application of unsupervised learning is dimensionality reduction. High dimensional data can be challenging to visualize and work with effectively. The dimensionality reduction techniques such as PCA, principal component analysis, and T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding help us to put Check data into low dimensional space while preserving the essential characteristics. Next, we move to anomaly detection. Unsupervised learning is also used for anomaly detection where the algorithm learns the normal behavior of a data set and identifies instances that deviate significantly from this norm. 
Next, data pre-processing. Despite not requiring labeled data, unsupervised learning often relies on data pre-processing steps such as normalization and scaling to ensure the algorithm's effectiveness. Evaluation. Evaluation means evaluating the performance of unsupervised learning algorithms can be challenging since there are no ground truth labels to compare against. Instead, evaluation is often qualitative relying on visualizations and domain expertise to assess the algorithm's result. So now that we understand the relationship between machine learning and data science, let's explore some real-world applications of machine learning that shape our life. From personalized recommendation on streaming platforms and e-commerce websites to virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, machine learning is an integral part of our life's daily experiences. In healthcare industry, Machine learning plays a crucial role in medical images analysis, disease diagnosis, and personalized treatment plans. The finance sector benefits from machine learning in fraud detection, risk management, algorithm trading, and enhancing the efficiency of financial operations. Machine learning is driving the development of autonomous vehicles, making our roads safer and revolutionizing the transportation industry. The future of machine learning is promising and boundless, with continuous advancement on horizon. As technology evolves, machine learning will continue to expand and impact various industries, from agriculture, education, cybersecurity, and even space exploration. As we conclude our journey into the world of machine learning and its relationship with data science, I hope you have gained valuable insights into this transformative field. Machine learning's symbiotic relationship with data science empowers us to extract knowledge from data and make those informed decisions, revolutionizing how we interact with technology. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Knowledge Kiosk for more enlightening content and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for joining us and until next time, keep exploring the wonders of technology and I'll see you in my next video.